Hello, guys. All right, we're going to try to do this in one take. I got myself a envelope from Animation Legends. I don't want to turn it around because I didn't block off my address, but <laughs> it's from Animation Legends. Now, um, ever since I started doing these interviews, I should just point out, I've had so many great people reach out to me and they said some really awesome and nice things. Some people just want to talk about animation cells, which is kind of the point of this channel. I think there's not a lot of people that have someone to talk to about animation cells. And that's why they look for the Facebook groups. And that's why they have reached out to people like me, because it's just kind of fun to talk about. Uh, we have some other interviews that we are currently scheduling. They're going to be posting up. So that'll be pretty cool. Now, uh, this isn't really an interview. I just made a purchase from uh, Animation Legends. and. Um, you know, I've talked about them on the show before. They're in Salt Lake City, it looks like. Um, so that's how I got my passion for animation cells. I saw one of their ads online, which was, hey, you could own a piece of cartoon history. So I bought some Sonic and He-Man cells or something, and it was super cool. I got to admit, I was so pumped to get it through the mail. I got it through the mail, and I was not disappointed. I've made so many other purchases with them. Um, so I just wanted to do a review for this channel. Uh, they're not a sponsor and they certainly didn't pay for this. I paid for this <laughs> and I am one of their uh, Patreon supporters, which means that I get some special privileges through them. One of the privileges I get is, uh, you get a, a coupon code once a month for $25 off, which is, uh, you know, just kind of keeps you buying, I guess. And I also get the ability to have them put together custom packs. So my strategy with them, and I'll, I'll kind of tell you, because it, it sounds like when I say strategy, it's a Dungeons and Dragons type of deal. My strategy with them is to get the different shows I haven't ordered from them and just pick the types of cells I want to get from them. So custom pack would come out exactly how I'd want it as opposed to being random. And then I'll add on some background images or something. And then you take 25 bucks off. So that's what I did here. I bought a pack of Back to the Future. I purchased Back to the Future before, and I've done a video on it before actually, but um, you know, I, I really didn't get any good docs or I didn't get any good Marty McFly's. So when you get Back to the Future cells, you kind of want those too, right? Those are the ones you want. So I used my custom pack to get them and then I added on some background cells. Uh, after the $25 discount, I think it, in, in shipping, I think it came to like $48 or something because some of the cells, I guess I had a little premium. And I think one of the cells actually has a background image to it. So uh, the actual images are not a surprise. They send photos of them to you. Uh, I just think it'll be cool to see them in person and I'll be able to show them off to you if you have any curious uh, minds that want to see what it's like ordering from them. And I, one of the reasons also I wanted to do this video is the packaging was opened. Have you ever had that happen to you? Here's what I think happened. Some of the backgrounds are longer. Uh, let's see if you can show this. Some of the backgrounds are longer than the folder. So what I think they tried to do was bend the folder flap down. But here's the issue. The sticky adhesive part sticks to the plastic folder that's inside, not the paper folder and and what ended up happening was look you can see how it's touching the plastic so it didn't hold up in shipping i haven't actually looked inside of this yet so i don't know exactly if uh it hurt any of the backgrounds or whatnot i guess we'll find out in person so see this is one of those deals if they were a paid sponsor you would be like uh guys i don't know if this is what you want representing your stuff uh let me just say, I've never really had issues with them in the past. So I've actually always been very happy with everything I've got from them. Okay, you can see my hairy arms here. Uh, let me get the receipt out of the way because I don't want anyone zooming in on my address. <laughs> All right, let's get that out. Nice and fast. Okay. Ooh. All right, so this is one of the Back to the Future cells I got. And it was actually had the, here, I'm just gonna take all of them out right now of this plastic folder. Yeah, and you see right away, you can kind of see how some of the backgrounds are kind of bent. And I think that's because the background images are larger than the folder itself. I guess there's no way of telling if they were like that before they shipped, but I think some of the image background images got bent because of that. And, and that's part of the problem. Since the backgrounds are cardboard, 
it's not like it's resilient that way. It's it's probably going to stay that way. All right, let's so let's take a look at what we got here. Um, all right, so this is one of the reasons why the five pack costs a little more because this was a multi cell. Ooh, look at that. So, what a cool group scene. Even get the dog in there. So there are. Let's see. Just want to give it a quick smell and see if there's any detection. So there's three cells here. You notice that I'm not wearing gloves. Oh, there's four cells. So four cells together, and it actually has a Back to the Future sticker on the front. Um, you know what I'll do? I have I have an empty sleeve here. I'm going to put it on my desk over here when I'm done looking at them. So yeah, this is a four cell setup. This is super cool, and this is one of them I really liked. Um, look at that. Yeah, this is neat. In good shape. Still has the tape that held them together. And you know what's interesting about that? Look, the peg holes are perfect. Anytime I try to tape um, cells together, and I use, I think it's called washi tape. Have you heard of this? I use the washi tape because it's it's sticky enough, but it's not super sticky, so it doesn't damage anything. Um, okay, so that was cell number one. Here's cell number two. Good old Marty McFly. Now, let's see if the paper is stuck to it. It's a little stuck. I think it'll come out, though. I got this one because I have one on my wall with the DeLorean and Doc from the last one. And this one kind of frames up to the left. So I think it's going to fit perfect. Cool. Cool, Marty. Here's the stock here. Look at this bad boy. All right. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. Yeah, and the, you can see the drawing behind it. I bet you this comes off. It's really not on there hard. It's I can tell right away that it's it's not super stuck. I should be able to get it off. All right, here's the last one I got from them. It's a dock plus a background. I can't tell if this is a reprint. Oh, look, there's the oh, certificate of authenticity behind there. Um, look at that. I think this is a reprint background. Yeah, because look how perfect it is. But it's taped, and I'll open this up. It's actually in a plastic folder, so it's held together. But it's got the Back to the Future sticker on it. It's a cool one to dock, though. Super cool. So I'm guessing that this is a replica background of Doc. Cool. So here's my, these are the ones I picked because I just wanted Docs and I wanted Marty's. Uh, let's see how these backgrounds work. Well, this is new. I've never had one of these before. Um, this background actually has a watermark on it. It says Water Ford Series. Um, let's take a look here. Ooh, and I can actually see on the paper there's a watermark. I wonder if we can zoom in and show that on the other side. You can kind of see it there. Uh, and then there's, it's kind of embedded here. Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? That's a nice one. Nice little clouds. I wonder what series that's from. Um, here's one of a tree in a, like a farm landscape. These are ones are great for me. So what I've decided to do is, uh, basically if I sell any cells in the future, then these backgrounds come in handy because what I can do is I can make a, a replica background of it just for display purposes, you know, to kind of show what it would look like in front of something. And this is a really good one because you get the farmland and the buildings in the background. I like that. Uh, number three, oh, it's a nice sky with some trees. I like it. That's nice. Nice and easy. Uh, here's number four. Oh, this is cool. I've had a couple of these before too. So they are backgrounds. Oh, okay. Never mind. I haven't had one like this. So this is a cell background that's painted and it's stuck to paper. Um, but this is super cool. This is like a corridor of a sci-fi. This is super cool. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Let's see how far you can go in. It's like you're running down the hall. You ready? Okay. And the last background is 
just basically the color blue with a couple of streaks in it. I really can't tell. Maybe it's supposed to be like this. Yeah, nothing too special about this one. Just a nice solid color, kind of cool. I mean, in, in a lot of ways, if I'm going to be making uh, some copies in a way of just uh, you know replica backgrounds for original cells, you need some just solid colors that could go with any occasion, right? Because they're not scene matching or anything like that. All right, so overall, I'm happy. It looks good. Um, yeah, and like I said, with the the packaging like that, that's a bummer. I don't. I think it's just because they folded it over on the plastic. Luckily, it doesn't look like any of the actual cells were damaged. I can't tell if that the uh, the backgrounds were like that before, but you can kind of tell a little bit there. It left it vulnerable, so that's a huge risk. And I will say this: anytime I've ever had an issue. I've reached out to them and they've been super helpful and super forgiving in the sense that they've always gone out of their way to make things right. Um, I haven't really had any issues where like things came damaged or things like that, but um, you know, to, trying to get a hold of them and they don't get back to you in a timely manner, things like that, then they make it good. So overall, I'm happy. Um, I think I'll continue to be one of the Patreon supporters because I do like the idea of what they're doing. I think it's really neat. And I think it has gotten a lot of people interested in cell collection like myself. And I think they'll continue to get people in. And overall, it's good when you have a market of people that are out there and you get more people into the hobby and it adds more people into the pool that want to purchase and trade and sell and buy and all that uh, for animation cells. So you, that's what you want. Um, so just, just wanted to show off my latest unboxing of Animation Legends. I have another one here that I haven't had a chance to open up yet, but I think I'm not going to do that on camera. I just wanted to show that one off because of an example of what custom pack looked like when you're dealing with the, the Patreon supporters there. So overall, still happy with them. A little disappointed that it didn't flip and close the folder all the way, but oh, I, I can't really complain because they've always gone above and beyond, I think, at the price point. I Honestly, can you beat that price point? Not a chance. I mean, when I go on eBay, uh, if I find a cell I like or whatever it is, I mean, you're, you're looking at price points over 50 most of the time anyway, just for one cell. So being able to pick the ones you want, even though the Back to the Future cells don't really have much of a resale value. Um, they do, however, make me feel really good because I love Back to the Future and it's kind of cool to have those. And I have one now I can put up uh, with my frame DeLorean and Doc that's going to fit really well. So I'm excited about that. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching this, and we'll get back to the interview series here soon. Maybe I'll do some more unboxing. Maybe I'll save them for more fun, uh, higher-end cells, you know, things I might buy on eBay or whatever it is. But, you know, I'm always scanning, always looking for things. So, uh, see, one day someone messaged me. They want to see what the Simpson cell I bought looks like. I'm going to have to post that up here sometime soon, too. Maybe I'll save that, too. Uh, all right, well, thank you, guys, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.